Hey guys, welcome back. It's Brandy. So uh, in today's video, we are doing uh, part two of uh, the what sold for February 2020. Uh, if you did not catch my part one video, I'll make sure I put the link up above. It is um, all the Barbie items that I've sold during the month of February 2020. Uh, so I, again, I split them into two videos because it was a, lo a lot of items and I didn't want to have, uh, I just didn't want to make the video too long. Anyway, let's get started into um, seeing what's, what else I sold during the month of February 2020. Alright guys, so uh, before I get started, I'm just going to say I'm going to do my best to make sure I try to uh, give you the cost of goods and the shipping on um, on this round of what's sold. As uh, as I said before with the Barbies, they're in lots, so they are, uh, they are uh, done a certain way. But everything else, uh, I usually have an actual cost of goods because I bought it at a, at a thrift store or an estate sale or maybe a yard sale or an auction. All right, so let's get into the video. Now, the first item up is a Mattel Shopping Cheryl doll. She actually was sold uh, the last day of January, but I put her in this lot, uh, in this February what sold, because I just wanted uh, everybody to see her. You don't see her very often with uh, all of her items. She, um, she's actually complete or near complete. Um, I got her at an auction for $25. I was expecting a little bit more, but you know, sometimes that happens. But as you can see, she came with her box. She came with everything, um, including all of the um, groceries. The groceries have magnets on them, so you can see she's actually holding it in her hand, uh, her cart, money. So this was a really cool lot to find uh, with the groceries and everything in it. Uh, she sold for $79.49. And she, uh, let's see, she was ship, shipped for $17.79. She was in great condition. Her little vinyl <laughs> skirt. <laughs> she did have one flaw. Um, I mean, she's in great condition. She literally was in the box. It looked like somebody played with her a couple times. She did have one mark on her arm. That was it. The buttons on the side are actually to squeeze her. Um, you squeeze it and it makes her her thumb move so that she can hold the items. Couldn't think of the word there. <laughs> Sorry guys. And there's some of her money, which I never saw when I was actually searching for her. I didn't see a lot of that. I saw the groceries, I saw the doll in the cart, but I did not see the money. So again, pretty cool to find this lot. This again was at an auction I bought for $25. Alright, next we have uh, a, a game, a Lakeshore Habitat Challenge Science game. Uh, this actually wasn't a huge sale, but I put it in here because it was a quick sale. I got this at a um, thrift store, and I don't what I don't know what made me pick it up, guys. Uh, it's just a uh, Lakeshore does a lot of educational things, and I don't know if I was thinking to pick it up for my son or what, but I believe I paid two dollars and forty nine cents for it and had it on a 20% um, coupon because I use those often and save them. And as you can see, it sold for $20.49. It literally sold the same day that I listed it. It shipped for $9.40. So this was back in um, the first week of February before everything had started, so. All right, next we have um, something I do sell often, the Vintage Little Tykes Kitchen uh, Play Stuff. They have cabinets, uh, refrigerators, stoves, of the, um, sorry, sinks, <laughs> uh, all the pretend play that is child size. So this is the, the about uh, three to four, about three foot high, about the size of a, you know, your, your five-year-old or less. Um, those are not cracks, those are... <laughs> from the uh, umbrella lights. So again, this is a Little Tykes kitchen cabinet hutch uh, that I got off of Facebook mar Marketplace for $25. I actually bought it from somebody and she had several items. She had refrigerator, this, sink, she had a lot of stuff. Um, and it did sell for the $75.49 that you see. Uh, buyer paid $50 to have it shipped and that was within the US. 
and it was in great condition. You know, there was no water trapped and no dirt trapped, which is something that you need to look out for. Sometimes that, that stuff gets trapped in the bottom down there um, or inside the back. So be careful with that because that can grow mold and you don't want to sell an item that has been sitting outside instead of inside, you know, getting stuff. <laughs> but again, I do also sell the refrigerator and the other things too. Okay, we have a vintage little kittle, which is made by Mattel. And this is a uh, middle muffet, uh, a play on Little Miss Muffet, obviously. She is not complete. Uh, she would normally have a spoon and a bowl uh, with this set, but she is uh, fairly close. She sold for $33.49, plus shipping to Canada for $11.06. So I find these dolls a lot of times. I find them in uh, my Barbie lots. So I just start separating them out and I have somewhere where I put them um, as I collect this, collect more and more because there are more of these little dolls and again just like Barbie the more items that you have to complete the sets the higher you could ask for. She's a really pretty doll. So this one um, more than likely cost me about 50 cents a piece since it came out of a Barbie lot. Uh, as per my other video I try not I try to average 50 cents to a dollar per piece when I'm paying for those lots. The next doll is a vintage Unita Miss Suzette. Unita is the type, is the brand name of the, of the maker. Miss Suzette is the doll name. Now she is a, a very rare doll um, and I have sold her several times. I sold her three times last year and this will be the first time I've sold her this year. She obviously is, is like Barbie but she has some, some differences. Her head is more like Tammy's and you'll see her body is different in a minute and how you will be able to um, uh, pinpoint her. And I really wish I had her and I uh, had an actual doll in my hand so I could do a doll highlight of the week video. I'll have to um, review some of my older videos to see if I have any of that. Anyway, this is her, uh, her original striped pink outfit and blue swimsuit. The other clothes I just put with her, I'm not sure if they're hers, but they fit her. Now, um, Miss Suzette has a, a unique body. She actually has this Y, is what they call it, this Y-shaped hip. And she did have a small crack in it, but it did not make it flimsy. But you can tell, you can easily spot her out because of her body is so different. There's a back part, so you can see. And she does have the, um, the symbol on her back. So you can see that. And this particular doll, I did see it. She had a chip in her eyebrow. So, right there. And that was disclosed in the description. She sold for, she, I took best offer on her for $165 plus $7.57 shipping. I have sold her up to $225 before. So yes, she is a high value doll and definitely a bolo. The next items I also get out of uh, Barbie lots. When I get vintage Barbie lots, I often find these dolls. They are made by Mattel. They are these called the Sunshine Family, and they all have names, and I can't remember all individual names, but they are um, somewhat popular. Ironically, I sold two lots in in two days, <laughs> two different people. So don't know if that was the eBay al algorithm or if that it just happened to be that way. Uh, but again, they're called the Sunshine Family, and they are very much like Barbie. Um, they actually share a lot of the same items as Barbie. As a matter of fact, this. This, the baby stuff in here are the same items that you'll see in the 1970s Sears exclusive um, Barbie babysitter. Uh, she has the same clothes, um, I don't know what is that called, a, a bathing thing, high chair, uh, different color, I believe it's yellow. So, and there's the family. I, again, I, I don't know all their names, I do know that the baby's name is Sweets. <laughs> but that is what the family looks like. 
and a bunch of their clothes. Uh, some of these clothes, are, most of these clothes are hers, a few of them are, I think the striped shirt, I'm not sure, but this did sell for full ask, asking price of $69.49. I believe I had it at best offer, which I usually do with the Sunshine family, and the buyer paid $8.33 shipping. Now again, with the since I get this in my Barbie lot, pieces are counted um, 50 cents to a dollar per piece. So again, you'll, you'll hear me mention more of that in the previous video. Now the next lot that sold after that was this one. Again, it is the Sunshine, Sunshine Family. This had more of the structures. Uh, this is actually part, this is actually their, their craft store in the back, which is part of their home. Uh, you can go on Pinterest and find a lot of uh, photos of what it actually looks like. But you can see that there was a lot in this lot. They had couches, they had um, all the dolls, the pots, pans, shoes. So this lot did sell for $125. And I did take best offer. And it was shipped for $29.13. But again, you see it had a lot of stuff in it. The box was pretty big. Uh, this is actually a pet center. It's got a tandem bike with, the, or I'm not a tandem bike, whatever they call it, with the, with the cover on the bike. <laughs> uh, this actually, this here is all the pieces to hold to put the craft store and the snack patio together. So they were all in the bag and you know easily, easily accessible. And here's all the uh, accessories that go in their little craft store. This lot actually had I. Um, got at an auction and I won the auction lot for $12. It was an entire box with all this stuff in it and nobody knew what it was. So I, I did know who, the, I knew a couple of pieces so I just took a chance and bought it. There was however one piece left that I did not realize was part of theirs and it was a, a yellow plastic chalk. I did not bid on it because they had uh, started the bid separately had I known, I would have asked them to put it in that lot because it belonged to the family and would have got everything, but I left it. Alas. <laughs> On to the next item. These are a pair of Jackson L ice skates. They are girls size four and a half, quite small. I took a chance on these. I didn't know they would actually sell. Um, I got them at the thrift store. I believe for, I want to say $3.99, they were pretty cheap, uh, I figured sports equipment was more expensive, but anyway, I did buy them, and they were in great condition, um, the only thing I did not see was this right here, uh, and I probably would not have bought them had I seen this crack in the uh, leather like that. But I had already bought them. I did list them at $68.49 uh, and then I put them on sale and they sold for $47.94 uh, with shipping plus shipping of $7.86. So that's not bad. I, um, I, 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 I figured, uh, I didn't even figure they would even go for that much, I guess. I'm, I'm not even sure why I put them at the $68 with that crack in the leather. However, the skates were really sturdy and the crack didn't really do much to make them less of what they're supposed to do. Not that I know much about skates, but I sure am talking about it. Moving on. <laughs> the next item I sell often. Disney's Little Einstein's rocket ship with the figures Leo, Annie, Quincy, and June. So I sell this multiple times throughout the year. Uh, you know, if I can get to the thrift store and find it. Not the case now. This is the actual second time I'm selling this, I sold this this year, I'm trying to think, it might have been the first because we're on February, um, anyway, this is a Disney Junior, I want to say, or a Disney cartoon, uh, Little Einsteins, they had little movies and cartoons, and it's very, very, very popular, uh, they have singing dolls and all that other stuff too, but anyway, this, this rocket is very popular, I, again, I sell it a lot. It sold for uh, $159.49, so it did sell for full asking price, and this was actually shipped internationally. Buyer paid $58.43 to have it shipped to Brazil. 
I know what you're thinking. Some people will not ship to Brazil, but I, I ship everywhere. I haven't had any issues. Not that I won't, but it's not going to stop me from shipping right now. As you can see, it is electronic. It has lights. It makes sounds. Uh, the only thing that it is missing is right here, there should be a green screen, which is the, I don't know if you have kids, but uh, there's a screen, that, a computer screen they have in here that they're supposed to touch to make the rocket do certain stuff. That is a very extremely hard piece to find. So you find it, make sure you're selling this for a lot more. Now I have sold this between $150 and $200, so the price fluctuates with the market, obviously. The last item I have for this video is a Lisa Frank three ring binder that was uh, full of stickers and um, I did pick this up at the thrift store and I believe I paid um, between $2 and $3.99 for this and again I almost always have my coupon because I don't go there very often but um, this was the, it was just a regular three ring binder. Uh, Lisa Frank can be a bolo, um, she does sell very well. Some, sometimes it does depend though. Now this was full of stickers, so I just left it as is, left the stickers in there and tried to take a bunch of pictures um, of what stickers you could find in the book. Uh, there was writing, I did disclose that as well. So, lots of stickers. I think there was some scratch and sniff, yeah there's some scratch and sniff stickers in there. There weren't a bunch. You know, not enough to make me pull out. I'm um, not sure if you're aware, but that is a bolo as well. Scratch and sniff stickers. So let's see. So yeah, there's a lot of Lisa Frank stickers in here, but some other ones too. Yeah. So this did sell for 41. Excuse me, for 41 dollars and 47 cents. Uh, buyer paid 15 dollars and 39 cents to have it shipped in the U.S. Some pretty cool, cool poo stickers in there. All right, guys, that was the end of, of the February What Sold video part two. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I'm gonna have to hurry this up because the kids are coming down and talking and playing now. <laughs> uh, at any rate, uh, hopefully tomorrow I can get started on the next What Sold video for you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button and comment below. Have you seen some of these items? Maybe you've sold some of them before. Uh, if not, I hope that I've given you a couple of bolos or a little bit of an insight in some of the things that I sell in my store. Thanks again for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. Thanks again and have a great one.